What's up, you tactical bastards? Got some cool stuff to show you. Before we even look at the HK, uh, I know Christmas is coming up, so I figure I'd show you these little doodads. Uh, be uh, great Christmas ideas for uh, if you're a girl, your husband, or your uh, friend, or whatever. Um, this guy's got. He's very, very talented. He's just one of the many people in the gun community uh, that's extremely talented. His name's Dave, and he makes these beautiful pens made out of real um, brass casings, and then he colors them himself. This is probably one of the one of my favorite ones he's ever made. It's a bolt action pen. I don't know what caliber it is. That might be like a half of a thirty out six casing there. And it's <clears throat> they're real high quality pens. It ain't like he just makes a pen and throws some piece of shit guts in there. He puts in all good stuff. And there's the uh, it's kind of like a black gray, beautiful, glossy black gray uh, finish on there. And then in the middle he has a uh, really nice wood. Looks like oak. Uh, the color I would say I don't know. What that color would be I'm not a stain expert but what I am is uh, picky so uh, I've already used it at work it's got a nice it's got a nice it writes really smooth and nice and uh, it's just a good quality pen uh, it has a little little clip on here and a little clip if you look real close is a, a bolt action rifle with a little scope on it you can't see it Let's see it close really really nice let me make sure it zooms all the way out so we can yeah it's all the way out so that should focus see how it has that black gray mixed with copper and this is how it works this is like my favorite work pen right now uh, you move the here's the bolt you move the bolt over and pull it back and the pen's gone and when you want to use it you move the bolt forward slide it over and there's your pen so it's got copper brass brass coated, it's brass underneath though, it's copper, solid wood in the middle, all handmade by a little American company called Terran Treasures, okay? And what I'll do is, they're very reasonable for the amount of work that goes into them, so what I'll do is I'll put the link under the under the video, and these are like a real cool little gift you can get somebody. There's so many times, like, people like, for instance, like uh, my brother, he's got everything, and it's, he's a hard guy to buy for. This is this would be something really unique to uh, buy someone like that because you just can't go to a store and buy this. It's uh, custom made, it's one of a kind, and it's really special. So it's neat. It's really uh, a gift anyone would appreciate, I think. So uh, thanks, Dave. Thanks for sending me this pen. I will use it, and it's it's one of my favorites so far. Okay. So here's his card. Well, I'll, I'll just put the link under the video. You can click the link. Or you can just uh, freeze the camera and look at the card. If I can get it to freak out of here. Okay. Let's see if I can do this backwards camera here. But I'll, uh, I'll put the link. So you'll, you'll get the pen, you'll get a couple cards with it. And uh, he's got all kinds of different gun pens. And it's really, really awesome work. Uh, I just, this new neighborhood I moved in, it's really, really quiet with the exception of one thing. Hear that? There's train tracks about, let me see, I'm looking across the street. It's really not that loud for being how close it is. 50 yards from my house, maybe 30. There's a freight train going by right now. That's pretty, pretty amazing it's not that loud. That's it, the neighbors are great. It's a great neighborhood, great school district, nice house. Maybe I'll give you a little tour of a house one day. I don't know if you guys even give a shit about that, but We'll see. Um, before the friggin' battery runs out of the camera, through night send me another flashlight, which I will be giving away to another good subscriber that appreciates the channel. Through night, guiding you through the night. Probably the best flashlights for you know under a hundred dollars. I mean, they have all kinds of flashlights from like thirty dollars, forty-five dollars, fifty dollars to a hundred dollars, and they're they're fantastic for the money. So um, it's great. So what they do is they send me the light, and then uh, I'm probably, because i got enough flashlights, and I'd rather give back to you guys, just randomly pick a subscriber. 
that you know I notice is always uh, appreciating the channel and give it to them even if it's a subscriber you know that that don't watch the channel all the time but at least leaves a nice comment and, and appreciates it you don't have to be like an armory channel fanboy to win one of these by no means try to keep it fair here um, yeah this is called the Archer 2A the Archer 2AV so which that means is it takes double A batteries that's great uh, you don't have to go out and find one, two, three batteries, which one, two, three batteries today are pretty common, but double A is still way more common than one, two, threes. That's a long, slender light. There it is, Archer 2A V2. It's called from Through Night. Uh, of course, you get you get it in this hard box. Nice, long, slender flashlight. Uh, it's about, I'd say, six inches long. And then I never seen this before. Through Night put their uh, name on there. It looks good though. It's it's black and silver. It's, it's they kept it, you know, looking really nice. Doesn't look cheesy whatsoever. Okay, really nice work, guys. Uh, this is this little light with the little uh, AA batteries in it is an unbelievable 450 lumens. What? Um, very very nice. Let's see if I could do a little thing here. So it's the same as the other ones. Uh, it's very robust, again, really tough, nice and heavy duty, it feels great, nice real glass lens. There's your mode button, you go through your modes, there's your on and off button in the back. Nice rubber on and off button with a high quality spring in there, it doesn't feel like... When you feel, uh, when you see them cheap flashlights where they're trying to imitate Surefire and it looks like a Surefire, but it's not, and then as soon as you hit the switch, you can feel the shitty switch. Well, this doesn't have that. It's a really nice, hard smooth click and switch usually the cheap switches feel gritty they feel like total dog shit okay so uh, there's your uh, light let me see I don't even know where it's on there it is so there's your like 450 lumens right there okay so you have you have it's already on low you can see that you got real low lighting and then you have that's one that's two okay and that's three and that's four and believe me when the lights are out the 450 lumens will light up your yard. That's for sure. Also has an awesome strobe. You just push it down and hold it. There you go. Really, really nice, man. As you stop it, and you just turn it on and off. Uh, this one's a little more unique. It has a white switch on it. I guess that's a cool feature. Um, it catches your eye quick, especially if you're in the dark and trying to look around and find a switch real quick. Uh, you see the white switch. It is rubber. It is rubber. Very, very nice light, guys. Uh, this is the latest Through Night flashlight from Through Night. And I appreciate you guys uh, letting me show you these lights. Uh, they're really, really nice. Sorry about my table. I'm still not set up. My gun table is not set up yet. You know, it's going to take a while. Plus, I don't feel good. You can hear it in my voice. I, I think I'm coming down with something. My lungs are bothering me. I'm feverish, I don't feel good, and uh, there's still a lot of things i got to unpack and get my, um, my gun table set up. The problem is the gun table's in the basement, and the basement we didn't even get to yet, and there's a bunch of boxes on top of it. That's why I'm on my dining room table, so he's got to deal with this for a while. Now, as far as uh, this goes, I will put the link under the channel, and then you guys want to get one for yourself for... Uh, like I said, it's Christmas time, and these lights are really reasonable. They're not a lot of money, and it's a great gift for somebody. You can always get someone a light. Any gun guy, knife guy, love lights. So, And they're not a lot of money, and you're getting a lot of quality for them. So I'll put the, uh, the link under the video. It'll be the first link under the video for through night. Okay, and you guys can go there, and if you like it, grab it. I love it. It feels great. So, And no, a plus, AA batteries, get them anywhere. At 450 lumens with two double A's. That's, I don't know how they do that. Excellent. So this one's going to go to Smile Money. Smile Money's been a subscriber for a long time. He's a really nice guy. And I haven't gave a light to a local subs subscriber. 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 Subscribal. I haven't gave a light to a local subscriber yet, so this will be the first one. He is a local guy, and he's a, he's a, he's a good dude, man, and I'd like to see him get something. So you're going to get this, Smile Money. I'll have the box for you and everything, 
Uh, just uh, PM me with your address, and I will ship this to you as soon as you give me your information, like the next day. I don't like making people wait. I am not USPS, which everyone knows sucks ass, US friggin' PS. Every time they give you a friggin' delivery date, is it ever right? Never. It's never right. I ordered a holster for this beautiful gun I just got. This HK VP9. I showed it to you before, but it wasn't mine. I borrowed it. After I, I waited a while, shot it again, shot it again, shot it again, shot a friend's. I'm like, you know what, man? This gun's friggin' sweet. It's not a lot of money. Plus, I'll get a discount because I work with Double Action. I'd be crazy not to get this. So I got one, and I've been shooting it, and I'm telling you guys I'm loving it. Anyway, I got a friggin' holster for it. I ordered it on the 6th. Now, two-day priority mail. It's, 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 what is it, the 12th today? And it still ain't here. Are you kidding me? So they blow. Uh, they said uh, estimated delivery date would be Monday. It's far from Monday, and it still ain't here. So why I got the VP9? Well, I'll tell you right now. I'm a Glock fanboy. You guys know I am. Okay? But I love all guns. I don't just want to carry a Glock when I'm at work. I don't just want to carry a Glock. I, I, I know I'll carry it 80% of the time, but once in a while I like to carry another gun. The problem is when I carry another gun, it, it's, a, it's a slightly different system. Another gun will have, like say, uh, I'll, I'll carry my Beretta M9. Okay, I carry a Beretta M9. Well, the Beretta M9 is a little different. Under stress, it's a lot different. Okay, under stress, God forbid if it ever happened, I don't know if I'd even how I'd handle the situation, but I want to have a gun with me that I know like the back of my hand, which you guys know, I know the back of my hand better than anything. Get that joke? All right, watch this. Oh, I can't do it no more. I used to be able to manipulate the man boob, but there's so much fat on it now, the muscle's moving in there, but it's so deep inside the fat, you can't see the, the boob boom anymore. Seriously? What a loser. Anyway, I want a gun that has the same functionality that I carry all the time. I carry a Glock 19, so if I carry a Glock, another gun at work, I want to be confident with it. What will be another gun that's like the Glock 19 or a Glock style gun? Which I prefer. Now, you know, I'm getting ahead of myself. If I carried the, the M9, which is a great gun, but now I got a safety on it. Okay, I got, I got one in the chamber, I don't know, the first trigger pulls 10 pounds, whatever. It's just different. It's just different. The slightest little difference can fuck you up in a split-second situation. This won't have any effect on that because it's designed, the VP9 anyway, is designed exactly like a Glock. I'm talking about controls and functionality reasons. I've been shooting this uh, VP9. Um, I finally now am the owner of one. Comes with two mags. I haven't shot with this mag yet. I don't do that. I shoot with one mag for a while, and then I shoot with, and then I'll switch and go to the other mag for a while, just in case there's any malfunctions, weirdness, then I can detect easier what's wrong when it could probably be the mag. So far with this magazine, uh, this gun is flawless. I got uh, over 200 rounds through it. I know it's not a lot, but um, I can shoot really, really well with it. Um, we're going to go do a shooting video with this. I don't know. I'm going to try to squeeze one in this. This video is long. Damn, 13 minutes. I'm going to try to squeeze a little clip of shooting in here with this gun. Um, I shot it like about, uh, shooting about 10 yards with it. All in the center. No problem. It's got a really good trigger. HK really stepped up their game. Um, this gun was gun of the year. And, uh, you know... Now that I've been shooting it, I realize that it definitely deserves that award that it got. Um, I've had HKs in the past, and I always end up selling them because I love the HK quality because I'm a quality whore, and I know HK makes a great gun, but I just couldn't stand um, the big, the levers on the side were too big. They were just too big. And the trigger reset was atrocious. If you're not a trigger reset person, the HK trigger is probably fantastic for you, but if you shoot using the reset system, which you probably won't do in a stressful situation, but I like to have fun at the range. I want to shoot target. 
If you do the reset system when you're shooting target, which I do, is the trigger is 90% importance when you buy the gun. HK knocked it out of the park with this beautiful, wonderful, smooth ass trigger that they came out with with the VP9. Uh, so far, this VP9 has zero failures, zero malfunctions. It's running 100% perfect. What's great about it is the old, the, your typical HK, you know, the trigger would break and then you know, slide and then you would let it out and it wouldn't reset there. It would reset somewhere around here and then after the reset you would have all this play after the reset. So very hard for me to control the gun when I was shooting it. Still could shoot decent with it, but I can shoot way better with a Glock style trigger and that's what this is, whether HK wants to admit it or not. That's exactly what they did. They put a Glock style trigger in their gun. It is a little different than the Glock trigger. Um, it's lighter, okay? Uh, a Glock stock trigger, depending on what gun you get, because all guns, even Glocks, they vary, you know, very little differences. But when I'm, when I'm pulling this trigger, uh, the pull through, through the reset, through the tense area, is a little lighter, so I can, I can pull through very, very smoothly without moving the muzzle of that gun very, very smoothly, which means I can stay in the red more easily than I can with other guns with the reset trigger. Now, if I had a Glock with a 3.5 connector up against this, it's probably about the same. That's what it feels like. It feels like it has a that stiffness of a trigger, like a Glock with a 3.5 in it. Okay, The Glock stock trigger is definitely heavier than this HK stock trigger. If it measures the same on the scale, I don't know how it would because it definitely feels a lot lighter than the Glock trigger, but not dangerous, not dangerous light. It also has, damn, oh, I have a light here. It also has these glow sights, which what they are is they're high visible sights. So even in the dark, not pitch dark, but even in low lighting, you can see these. They're very high vis. But in the dark, pitch dark, not even, I know you can't see that. They would light up like a Christmas tree, they, they really do. The camera ain't picking it up too well, but they do. And that'll stay lit for a long time. Um, I like these. I don't know how long they last. I don't know if they have the, the life of night sights, but they are beautiful. And the price point of this friggin' gun, a double action for $635 in HK, and it won gun of the year, which tells you it's already a good gun. You don't have to wait three years to get all the bugs out of it is phenomenal. Um, some people don't like the ears in the back. I didn't like it either until I seen it in person. They look great. For some reason on camera they look bigger, but when you see them in person, uh, they look perfectly fine. And you can remove them if you don't, but why would I do that? They're great for manipulation. They're great for, you know, sliding your slide in, rolling your hand around the top, and racking that slide, pushing out. It just gives you a, a, a lot more uh, faster, faster, uh, Racking ability, and man, that's a nice trigger. Has a decocker back here. It's it's really discreet though. It's a little red decocker. You don't even need that. I don't know why that's there, but it's not a big deal. Uh, beautiful gun. Uh, takes down just like uh, a lot like a Sig Sauer, not like a Glock. Um, kind of combination of both. Like a Sig Sauer, you got to sweep this down, okay, and then push down on the slide stop. And I don't know if I have pull trigger or not. Maybe do. Yeah, I guess you do. And there's your insides. Really beefy, lots of steel, heavy duty. Oh yeah. Looks fantastic in there, don't it? Oh yeah. Alright. Beautiful, nice steel guide rod, HK. It doesn't have the typical HK recoil buffer in there, but you don't need it. It's a nine millimeter. There's a, there's, a, there's a little bit of muzzle rise with this 9mm because it is an extremely light gun, which I like. It's light and it holds a ton of ammo, 15 plus 1. Uh, it's like in between the size of a Glock 17 and a Glock 19. That's, you know, okay. And then it goes together uh, very Glock-like. Okay. Now, when you, this is what I learned with this because every gun has its weirdness to it. When you bring this back here, like this, make sure make sure you pay attention to the rear. Push down, push down on the rear, push down on the rear, and it'll come back real easy. You lock it back, just like a six hour, 
flip the switch, bang, there it goes. Now, what I really love about it is the controls have their own look, which means the frame is scalloped out for the control to stick out, but to go into the frame so it doesn't get in your way. It's very clean, there's no switches, there's no levers, there's no safety switches. Uh, it's, it's, it's full ambidextrous. Uh, you know, you can slide lock on this side, it's got one on this side, but you got to remember it's real slim line, low profile, very slick on the side. It's got a little chamber indicator, it's got everything you need, nothing's in your way, it's really clean. A lot of people don't like HK uh, because of this, uh, the, the European mag release. Guess what? That mag release, if you train with it, is probably more effective than the 1911 style mag release. I mean, I can... Depending on the size of your hands, I could put the I could put the mag in here, bang 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 bang, bang shoot the gun, and, and just use my index finger. I have no I have no problems manip manipulating that mag release, and you know I'm not I'm still new with it, so uh, I just use my index finger, trigger index, trigger mag release, trigger mag release, just like this. It works good. It's, it's not a big deal, and the HK really shoots out. It drops it nice. You also get uh, extended, I put the medium one on there. It come, when you buy it, it comes, I think it comes with the big one on there. This big ass one. I took it off and put the medium size one on there. You also have a smaller one if you have smaller hands. Uh, it's pretty much the same gun as the P30, except it's a striker fired system like a Glock. This thing is beautiful. Shoots nice, just as nice as it looks, like I said. It also has uh, palm swells, different palm swells you can put in there to make it slimmer, fatter, whatever you want. It's like a P30. But um, the P30 has a cut here, has a bevel from here to here on a slant. The VP9, they kept it kind of square looking. I guess just to make it a little different than the P30. Um, I had a great shooting session with this gun. Um, what I'll do is, the video is getting too long to squeeze in way too long to squeeze in any kind of shooting. I'll show you a quick picture of it, um, of my target at 10 yards. First time shooting it. Check it out. Okay, so, I mean, if you can shoot like that with a new design gun for like maybe the second time I ever shot it, uh, that's good news and uh, the future is looking very bright. Okay, what I don't like about it, the only thing I don't like about it is this is why Glock will always have an edge on other firearms. I'm the type of guy that likes to do everything himself. I take all of my fixing problems myself, even my house, with the exception of my car because I just, I'm not the cars drive me crazy. But like I said, like, same with my guns. The problem with this is it has one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know, I can't remember before. I think it has between six, here's another one, seven. It's got seven roll pins in it, six or seven roll pins in it. Roll pins, I don't like them, but it's not a problem. What you do is you order one batch, set of roll pins for your AK, for your HK or AK, your HK, and you're fine. The problem is roll pins don't always come out successfully and it takes a while to get them out and get them back in. The Glock has that many roll pins, friggin zero. And when I have my Glock, I'm so confident because I'm in complete control of my Glock. I'm in charge of that whole gun and I can do anything to it I want in minutes seconds depending on what the what the you know what the problem is. A gun like this, if it breaks, I might have to send it to a gun sift. Maybe. I don't know. But that's it. But that's you know HK, I've never heard of an HK roll pin walking out on you. I mean I've seen it happen with um the Smith and Wesson uh twenty twos, the handguns, MP twenty twos. I've seen the roll pins walk out on them. I've seen roll pins walk out on the uh, high-powered revolvers, I've definitely seen that, so it does happen, but, uh, you know, it, it is an HK, I'm sure nothing like that would happen, but if it did, I just can't stand roll pins, they're a pain in the balls, 
And another thing about them is, I don't care what anybody tells you, if you take a roll pin out and you put it back in, it's a little bit smaller because you took it out because of pressure. So if you take a roll pin out, my advice to you is put a new roll pin in. Don't put the old one back in. You could possibly put the old one back in. It'll never come out again. But why did it come out in the first place? Because it's too fucking small. So if you replace a roll pin, always replace it with a new one. They they need to be in there tight. All it has to be off is just a thousandths or less than a thousandths. And the thing, after all recoil, it will start walking out on you again. Or fall out and you won't even know it. So, that's, that's it. But that's the only thing. Um, if you want an HK that you can shoot good, and you want an HK that don't cost a ton of money, and has the same level of quality of all your HKs, uh, I would definitely look at the VP9. This is a beautiful gun. It's one of the most comfortable guns I've ever felt in my hand. Ergonomically feels amazing. It's just like the P30. So it's light. It's comfortable. I can shoot good with it. It's a striker-fired gun. It's not a lot of money. It operates just like a Glock, so I can carry this at work with confidence. Done deal. Thank you, HK. Thanks for watching the video.